Hey everyone, welcome to day 10 of our AI photo editing series. Today we're jumping into Lightroom Classic for a brand new feature, AI Assisted Culling. Culling is all about choosing your best images, deciding which ones make the cut and which ones don't. And Lightroom's new AI tools makes this process faster and easier than ever. This AI will automatically detect faces and whether the subject is in focus and even if their eyes are open, allowing you to remove the photos that don't fit your criteria and focus on just your best images. In today's video, we're going to walk you through both the import process and the selection process so you can find your best images quickly. And as always, you can download all of these sample images totally free so you can follow along. Just click on the link right down below to sign up for our series. Alrighty, we got a great video for you. Let's jump in to Lightroom Classic. So we're going to start off with the import process. Let's go ahead and take our sample images. We're going to click and drag them right into Lightroom Classic. And here we see our brand new assisted culling right up the top. Let's go ahead and click there. Now, as soon as I do, you're gonna see it's gonna analyze all of our photos. It did that very, very quickly. And now we can select based on whether our subjects are in focus. Let's go ahead and click there. And you're gonna see instantly, we have some green checkbox that say, yes, our subject is in focus. And we have some red X's that says the subject is not in focus. You can even select on high focus and whether or not your subject's eyes are open. Let's go ahead and click all those. Now, the other nice thing is we can reject photos that don't make the cut. For instance, documents and receipts, if you have any misfires or exposure issues, you can just select those. I don't have those in this case, but it is nice because you do have, sometimes your images are just way too bright or way too dark. You can select to reject them automatically. Next, we have the ability to auto stack. Now this is really helpful, especially if you have multiple photo shoots on the same memory card. So here we can auto stack by capture time or by visual similarity. We're gonna go ahead and click on capture time and then I can adjust my capture time. So as I bring this a little bit lower, you can see we have two distinct photo shoots and I can go ahead and open up each one of these if I want by clicking on these numbers, but they are going to auto stack. It's so, so nice. You can also choose to auto stack by visual similarity. Now, every time you click on any of these photos, you can view the scores of the focus as well as whether eyes are open or closed. So if I click here on the first image, you're gonna see we have a green checkbox. It's gonna say the subject is in focus, the eyes are in focus, and the eyes are open. That's fantastic to know. And here we have our culling scores. So we can see the subject in focus, it gets a sub focus score of 81. The eyes get a focus score of 90, and it says eyes open, they are likely open. Now let's go ahead and click on the next image here in our series. It's gonna say the subject is out of focus. The focus score only gets a 49. The eyes are in focus at 100, okay, and the eyes are open, but the whole subject is a little bit less in focus than we'd like. Now, you can adjust these parameters. If I go back to where it says subject in focus, I can decide I want it to be extremely sharp focus. And as I bring this over to the right-hand side, you're going to see more of my images get a red X because this image, there we go, we can see the subject focus is only at 81. So it's not meeting my criteria. So I can be a little bit loose with my focus if I wanna bring this slider back down to the left, or I can be a little bit more strict with my focus by bringing it to the right. Now, so keep in mind, we are in the import process right now. We're deciding which images actually come onto our computer and into Lightroom Classic. So how do we make the cut? Well, down here at the very bottom where we have our view, I'm gonna go ahead and say view selects, and we're gonna see just the green checkboxes now. Or you can say, I'm gonna view the rejects and we're just gonna have the red axis. So if these images don't make the cut, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and down here at the bottom say uncheck all. So by unchecking these, they're not gonna be coming into my computer and they're not gonna be coming into Lightroom Classic. So that's how we're deciding in the import process. Now down here at the bottom, I'm gonna click here on all and you can see all of my images. And it's simply the images that don't have a check that won't get imported. I can do this manually. If I just don't like one of these photos, like I can uncheck it. Even if it meets, meets the criteria, I can decide to uncheck it. Or if I do like this photo and it's like, you know what? I like this photo. The subject's focus score is a 49. That's still pretty okay. Let's go ahead and import that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that checkbox and we're gonna import that photo. So you can make this decision at any point in time. So the AI assisted culling isn't going to decide for you what gets imported or not, you still have to go through the process of viewing your rejects and unchecking them, 
or you can go ahead and check them and import them into your computer and decide later how you'd like to use AI assisted culling. So let's go ahead and uncheck those images that have a red X and then start the import process. So I can do this manually very easily. I can just uncheck those right there. And don't forget, you have your different views. I can just view my rejects and hit uncheck all. There we go. Let's click on import. And as you're going to see, it's going to import just those images that have the checkbox into our computer. Now we're here in our library module and in the library module, you can see I have assisted culling as well. So up until now, we've been in the import process, deciding which images actually make the cut onto the computer. Now we can decide which images are our select. So for that, we can use AI assisted culling as well. We're going to click on assisted culling. Now, again, we have a subject focus, eye focus and eyes open. They all make the cut here. All everything has a green checkbox to be expected because we decided to not include those images that had the red X. We're going to go ahead right down here at the very bottom to our stacking options. So let's go ahead and click on auto stack. Now with our stacking options, I can stack this by capture time. This is a really nice setting. You can decide how strict you want to be on your capture time. There we go. Right about there, you can see it basically separates this into two different photo shoots. Let's go ahead and click on stack. Now I can also stack or unstack manually using a couple controls. So up here at the very top, you can see these images are stacked together. I can click on this number, which is the amount of images in the stack. Let's go ahead and click there. And you can see we have our six images that are stacked. I can stack and unstack them by simply clicking on this number. I can also go to photo down here to stacking and I can view unstack. I can remove them from the stack. I can expand a stack. I can collapse all stacks or I can expand all the stacks. All right, let's go ahead and expand all the stacks at one time. And there we have all of our images. I can expand or collapse these at any point in time. It's basically just a way of organizing your images. And speaking of organizing your results, let's go ahead and show you how to use batch actions. Now on the right hand side, what we're going to do is under the eyes open tab, let's go ahead and click where it says reject all can't tell images. There we go. Now with these images, the AI can't tell whether the eyes are open or not. I'm going to double click here and say, yeah, the eyes might be open on this one. Let's go to this other image with the red X. There we go. The eyes look pretty closed here. And let's go ahead of this one and our subjects eyes actually do look open, but the AI couldn't tell. So now that we do have some rejects here, basically we have these red X's. I can go down to where it says organize results. Let's go ahead and click on batch actions. Now, the images that are selected, again, these have these green check boxes. I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, apply a flag. We're going to just click here and it's going to apply a white flag, which means basically it's a pick. Now, any images that's rejected, which is going to be these three photos, they're going to get the flag with this big black X. You can choose to apply a rating, a color label, remove the photos or add them to a collection. But for right now, let's just do the flags. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see these images are now flagged as rejects here. But this image, you know what? I know this is not supposed to be a reject. So let's go ahead and click here and make that a flag because it does fit our, our criteria. So we can do this automatically at any time using the batch actions, but we can still change those settings manually if we want to. So up until now, we've done a lot. Basically, this entire process is helping us choose our favorite images. And now we have some flags and some rejects. So let's go ahead and show you how to filter in Lightroom Classic for your culling process. Now, right now, I don't see my filter bar. I'm going to go to view at the top and go to show filter bar. You can also hit the slash key above enter or return. There we go. So with this filter bar, we can see our library filter. I can filter by text, attribute, metadata, or none. We're going to click on attribute. Now, when I do click on attribute, I can fill filter by flag rating. So if I'm going to say these are just my flag ratings, now I know that these images actually fit all my criteria. Or I can filter by rejects, and I know these images do not fit my criteria. Let's go ahead and click here on our flags, and then we can click on each one of our images in a photo shoot to decide our favorite photos. So I'm going to shift click on these four photos. So remember, we started off with more images. We're narrowing them down to decide our favorites. I'm going to click on these four images, and then we're going to go to survey view, which is right over here on the very bottom, or you can click N for survey view. Now within survey view, you can simply hold control or command or click on this X to remove photos that don't make the cut. And I can decide which images I actually like. There we go. And you know what? I think this image is my favorite of the series. 
This light is beautiful. The subject I know is completely in focus. Their eyes are in focus. She's looking at the camera. Fantastic. So I'm going to go right down here and we're going to give this image a five stars or we can hit the number five on your keyboard. Let's go back to our grid view. I'm going to take a look at my next series of images. Let's go ahead and shift click those. I'm going to hit N or you can click here to go to survey view. Now for this, I'm going to remove my sidebars because I have more images. I just want to focus on my images. So let's hit shift tab and it removes all of my sidebars. And then I'm going to simply remove the images that aren't my favorite. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this one. She's not looking at the camera there. There we go. She's not smiling there. Between these two, I like that image more. Between these two, I think this image has a little bit more of a natural style. So we're going to remove that one. And this image, we're going to remove that one. So of all those images, this is my favorite. I'm going to hit the number five, and that's going to give it a five star rating as well. I'm going to hit shift tab one more time. That's going to get all of my sidebar back. And we're going to go back into our grid view. Now, check this out. We've given two images from two different photo shoots a five star rating. So if I want to view just those images, all I have to do is make sure at the top, I can uncheck the flag if I want to. Let's go ahead and click on five stars. And now I can shift click these images, hit N for survey view. And these are both my favorite images from each photo shoot. How quick and easy was that process? And I know without a shadow of a doubt that our subjects are in focus, their eyes are open and their eyes are focused as well because I set those as criteria during my culling process. From here, you can decide to edit these in Lightroom Classic or go into Photoshop, or you can export them just as you are. And you know, these are gonna be your selects and they fit all of your criteria. So you can see how AI assisted culling really helps with the process of narrowing down your favorite images and making sure that they fit the criteria of being in focus. It's a really big time saver. And that wraps up day 10 in our entire AI photo editing series. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Over the past 10 days, we've seen how artificial intelligence is transforming photo editing from generative tools and intelligent masking in Photoshop to denoising, lens blur, and even culling in Lightroom Classic. I hope you feel inspired to integrate AI into your photo editing process. And keep in mind, this series will remain free and available to everyone right here on YouTube. And if you would like to follow along with the sample images as well as project files, click on the link right down below to join this at any time. Thank you so much for watching this series and being part of the journey. I'm Aaron Nace, and I'll see you in our next series. Thanks again, and I'll floor you later. Bye, everyone.